Good morning, and thanks to Dr. Rowing for doing such a great plug for our registry throughout her presentation. Um, I think it's, you know, Brett has a great quote on the website that we're going to see at the end of this. It's, it's critical that we work together if people are wondering, you know, I get asked a lot, what can I do? A lot of times we feel kind of like CFC is happening to us and there's not a whole lot we can do about it, but here's one thing that we definitely can take action uh, together uh, in order to find treatment, hopefully in the future. So we partnered with Patient Crossroads, which is now in VTA, um, in order to host our registry. With the, and a registry, as we're going to find out in the next slide, what is a medical registry? It's a database that holds and stores information about medical conditions uh, for use by individuals, organizations, and, and very importantly, researchers. Um, we, a lot of people ask me, why Patient Crossroads? Not, why not another registry? And the reason, in my opinion, the, one of the main reasons we chose this registry is because we wanted to make it as easy as possible for um, our researchers to gain access from all the rasopathies in, in one registry. So translated, we have a lot of the other rasopathies in the same registry. So the researchers will have one point of access in order to get uh, access to our information and the other rasopathies. The other ones in our registry are, are Noonan's neurofibromatosis one, the um, Stello, I don't think they've made a decision yet, so hopefully they decide to join us, so we're all in one. I'm sure the researchers would appreciate that. Um, CSC International has partnered, like we said, with Invite to host our registry, and, and by working with Invite, we positioned ourselves um, in a registry that holds almost, like we said, all the other rasopathies, but Invite creates some other opportunities. So what are they? And what can a medical registry do for us? So it's how we can do our part to help find treatments, as I said, and medications to, for, and hopefully eventually, find some medications to help our loved ones with CSC. Um, by taking, and it does take about 45 minutes, and so I know a lot of people yesterday walked by, um, and I helped you get at least the login part done, which can be a little, you know, difficult in terms of getting uh, the right password and whatnot. But once you get over that hurdle, it's a matter of sitting down and, and, and just going through a, a series of questions and four surveys that take about 10 minutes a survey. So um, those who got the login part done, great. Be sure and go back and do the surveys. And, and as well, I was really happy to see how many people brought the genetic testing results with them. But I also had a lot of people come by and say, I don't have those with me. And make sure you, you take the time to go back and upload those. And a lot of people, as Dr. Rowan you know, pointed out in, in her presentation, having, having the location uh, on the genetic test results can be helpful to a lot of the uh, clinicians and researchers as well. And so there's often one page that lists all those out in a, in a straight line. Um, and, and I pointed those out to the people that were going through and you know, we were doing the paperwork together. So registries are prerequisites for much of the research we need to move forward uh, for treatments in CFC. Um, it's critical. It's, you know, I think Dr. Brown mentioned it four times. It's very critical that we do this. Uh, and not having an adequate registry will become a huge barrier to us finding treatments and assisting our researchers. And, and I love this quote from Tom Keller, that alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And, and that's really the power of the registry. You know, all of our information in one spot together can allow the researchers to take the next steps that, that they need to take. So, who's in VTA? Uh, and, and so there is um, Patient Crossroads um, and joined with another organization called Alta Voice to create what they call their, um, it's basically a, a pin is what they call it, we'll get to that on another slide. But in VTA is now the parent company of all these. Uh, nothing changes in terms of the registry for us. All the agreements and everything is the same, so you don't have to worry about the privacy changing or anything like that. It's all the same. Um, Invite is a large genetic testing and reg now registry hosting company as well. Uh, and this par partnership brings opportunities. You know, my, my, my hope is that perhaps down the line, Invite might be able to you know, partner with us and, and, and provide some testing results at a cheaper or something like that for our families. Um, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. 
they just got started. So I mean, this is this is new for them and 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 in, in a couple ways, but they've also been around a long time in terms of testing. So. Having a detailed equation, equation has brought many possibilities for our future. So I mean, I think it's a very exciting opportunity. And so have a nice little. So the, um, there is a video, um, but it's not going to work for me at this point. So, um, but I'll just kind of discuss what the pin is. And so what, what they've done is they've put together um, a one-stop shop, basically, that allows us as, as together, you can see de-identified data. In other words, they take out all of our personal information and just show numbers. And so it will give us percentages, and on the dashboard for um, our registry, you can see that you know some people have played with it already and told me about it, and, and I've played with it a lot too. And it's really exciting because just yesterday, I mean, we almost doubled the size of our registry in one day, but that still means that we're still under 20% of the people in our group are part of our registry. So that tells you there's there's a lot of room to, to still grow, and. I hope everybody here takes part in it. I'm going to jump back into the presentation, but I really hope everybody here gets a chance to take part in it um, and encourage all the others who aren't here. Because there's 80 families, 80 plus families here today. Those who aren't here, we really want you to join us as well. Okay? Our registry has been open for about a year. And as I said, up to yesterday, we had about 10%, and we almost doubled the size in one day, which is fantastic. Uh, but we do need everyone. So reach out to all your friends, reach out to people on Facebook. You hear me on Facebook bugging us about it frequently. But it's that it's it is very, very important. And often we feel like, like I said, there's so little we can do in terms of you know what can we do as individuals, but this is one thing we can do together that's going to make a huge difference for um, the researchers in getting, in, in getting treatments sent down the road for our loved ones. Um, so how do I get to the registry? Great question. And I decided to navigate to it from, from our CFC syndrome homepage. So navigate to the homepage, and if you go over to the research menu, the first option is join the CFC registry. Step two, okay? Once you're on there, it has a great quote from Brenda, which we're going to be able to hear in a second. And then down at the bottom, it discusses what the registry is. And at the very bottom is the button that goes to the Global Registry site. And so this is the site hosted now by Invite. Um, and Alta Voice is, is sort of the branding they've done for their PIN, which is what they call the home page of the dashboard for the registry that you get to interact with. So you click on the register button, and you might recognize that one. That kiddo right there, that's Gloria, that's my daughter, and that's my wife who sits in the back of the room. Thank you. Um, so go ahead and click the register button, um, and it will walk you through the typical online setup. You'll need your name, you'll need an email address, a username, and a password. Okay? And you can use your email address as the username if you wish. So here comes that quote. One of the single most important contributions any individual can make to cardiopatient kidney syndrome research is to participate in the Global CFC International Registry. And so I, I hope through this process, and, and now we have 80 plus families that have heard what the medical registry is and how it differs from just registering on our website to join our organization, that we're going to be able to spread the word and, and improve our, our message about how important it is to take that next step for our researchers and help them get the information they need to help help us. Right. So that is all. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.